thank you for the righteous example that you have provided for us in your word to help us transition from one leader to another and move again from grief unto life. It's in Jesus' name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Welcome to Hope of Glory Ministries. I'm Reverend Sandra Campbell, and I would like to speak to you from the subject, Transitioning with Grace. In Joshua chapter 1, we see that just as the nation of God is on the cusp of having arrived in the promised land, that their spiritual leader, after 40 years, Moses, has died. Now you can imagine that the people are grieving the loss of their leader. After all, he led them out of Egypt in a great exodus. He led them through the wilderness. Uh, he did miraculous things with his rod, uh, like parting the Red Sea. He spoke to God face to face. He's been an impeccable leader to them, and he's being sorely missed. Um, so now they are faced with how do we forge ahead? Well, they have been given a new leader chosen by God to lead them, Joshua. They know him as a war captain. Now he is the next leader to transition in. Well, another thing about Joshua's leadership that will differ from Moses' um, leadership is the fact that they will not have the comfort of looking up, seeing God lead them as a cloud by day and a fire by night. Um, it's going to be different this time. God's presence is housed in the Ark of the Covenant, which is carried by the priests. Now, Joshua has instructed the people to follow the priests who are carrying the presence of God in the Ark of the Covenant, and they will cross over the Jordan River into the Promised Land. And therein lies our righteous example of what to do. Um, we are going to have to be led by the church, by the men and women of God. And we're going to have to trust the revelation that they get from him. And during these times, you know, uh, just allow ourselves to be spiritually led. I would like to speak to you more specifically about the state of affairs in the nation. I believe that we are about to embark upon the next great movement of the church. The last one was 50 years ago during the bus boycott and the civil rights movement when the church led the nation to change. Well, I believe that just as the people during the civil rights movement walked in protest uh, for their civil rights, that we are again going to engage in a walk. But this time it's going to be different. We are going to engage in a faith walk. Um, we are going to walk in the spirit. Um, God has just dropped this in my spirit that he is going to supply us with spiritual shoes that won't wear out until his will is accomplished in the earth. You see, we are going to move to an elevated realm in the spirit where we will engage in spiritual warfare walking by faith, amen, and yokes will be broken. We'll pray in the spirit. We'll tear down strongholds in the spirit while the present administration and the present leaders on this level on earth are going about things in the natural, doing what they do. When they know anything and they look up, 
they're going to see us forging ahead, transitioning, hallelujah, with grace. Because when they go low, we're going to go high. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So hang in there. Don't lose faith. We're transitioning with grace, God's guidance. God bless.